Alrighty. Mr. Gatekeeper here. That is a very nice, clean Class C 12879 driver. Built for a nice fella. Fresh off the hot plate. Straight off the bench. Did a little bit of custom work uh, to it that I didn't mention to him. I thought he would find pretty neat that I'd uh, played around with before. I had done uh, one uh, using this uh, same case to where I'd actually uh, mounted one LED inside. I'll show you here in a minute when we take the top off. But uh, it kind of gave a ground effect to it to where you didn't see the LED but just the glow coming out the grills here. And uh, it won't look the way it can look since it's the daytime, but I, I couldn't wait till the night to do this. I got a lot of work to do, but during the nighttime, man, it's just very neat. Everything around here will be just blue on the sides. And uh, just in case, just in case he didn't like it, or just in case if he would like to, I utilized it with a switch here on the back. So he can turn that off and on. And so that's what that micro switch is right here. That's a five dollar switch. Can you believe that? <laughs> Sometimes I gotta run the radio shack and spin about three times the amount if I would find a good deal on eBay. But uh got on and off and uh got a sideband switch here for the sideband delay. It's a Class C driver. The fella's going to use it for a driver for a 4 amp 4 pill. And uh, he'll find that uh, this thing's got uh, more punch than he needs, which is a good thing to have. So he'll be able to run this driver by itself. Uh, it's given a real good DB gain. Talked on it a little bit last night. Made sure she was going to hold up good. So let's go ahead and show you what we're going to be putting into it. Got this uh, Maverick right here. I'm about to see if I can fit the camera in between here. Let you see the. One point seven watt dead key. All right, we've got about 20 watt PEP. You should be able to see a 100 watt RMS all day long on this driver. I just got done with a 12879 AB driver for a fellow out on the west side. He he uh, hollered at me this morning and let me know he was getting about 120 bird out of it on a pretty hot radio he's got. So that's pretty good uh, Pretty good news. Let's go ahead and flip her on. It's beautiful. See these ground effect kits down here? So I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. Like I said, you'll be able to see it at night very well it'll shine everything out here blue I got it mounted just to where you cannot see the bulb and just the glow get a nice blue fan on top alright variable all the way down Get this focus just right here. There we go. No, All right, about sixty watts. There went the mic falling down. <laughs> All right, I'm going to creep her up about halfway. Let 
Do te 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 ori 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 There's your good drive right there, man. Drop a hundred watts in that four pill base. She's gonna be banging. No, look at that swing. No, te 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 ori 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 Let's let you take a look at the input tune, man. I got this thing tuned down to God doing nothing. Oh, tilt, 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 tilt. Look at that thing. It ain't even moving. Tilt, 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 Input tune is beautiful. 10 watt slug. Reading the bottom scale. Oh. 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 There we go. See, I, I, I thought it was going to be moving just a little bit. I was about to say. Well, you, you're reading the 10 watt scale, so that 100 on the bottom is 10 watts. The 40 is 4, the 20 is 2. In between that is 1. Oh, that's like a hundred milliwatts. That equals a one to one, y'all. A hundred milliwatts, maybe even about 50. If you look at that line in between that and the one, that's uh, 50 milliwatts. That's 500 milliwatts. In between that would be 250, so. Oh, right there about 50 to 75 milliwatts of reflect. <laughs> and what I found out, a lot of the time you're going to have just a little bit of movement, but every once in a while you'll get lucky and be able to get something tuned absolutely beautifully to a, I'm talking about absolute perfect and have no movement, but shoot, man, that's only happened a few turn, times for me. All right, let's go ahead and creep this thing up full throttle. We're on 13.8 volts, by the way. Full throttle. Let me show you what a good 2879 tune properly is supposed to be doing PEP wise. With 13.8 volts, 20 hitting it. You still can you still can drive up to 30 plus uh, watts PEP into this thing, man. Still get it rock and rolling even better, but we just showing y'all a reference of what 20 watts is doing on this end. Oh, tia 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 ori 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 A hundred and fifty three watts PEP. Beautiful. Beautiful. Six watt dead key. Six watt dead key swinging up to a bill fifty. Oh, te 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 oh te 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 160 oh te 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 oh te 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 oh te 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 Alrighty, 150 to 160 all the way up on 13.8 volts, 20 watts PEP of drive. Let's go ahead and crank the voltage up to about 15.2, 15.3. This will kind of give you a little idea, kind of if you had, a, if I had a little bit of stronger radio hitting into it, kind of. Oh, te 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 oh te 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 oh te 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 oh te 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 oh te 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 te. Hundred and eighty-four watts. I will have to say this is one of the better one pills that I have done. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. There's your sideband delay. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Why don't you take a look at the inner workings? I left the other screws out on the other side to make it a little easier. All 
Alrighty, let's kick this light on. Beautiful lamp, man. I like to say it gets better and better as I go. <laughs> Just hope it keeps getting better and better, right? All right. All righty. Here's what we're looking at. Let's get this light over here. So let you take a look at the inner workings here. You won't see many people doing this. This right here is a 30,000 peak affared. A dot zero three micro farad silver dip mica. Y'all do some homework. Go see if you can find one of these for sale. And I guarantee you, if you can, they might be for sale 20 to $30 a piece. Go take a look. Go take a look. I use nothing but the best components that I possibly can in all of my builds. Try not to cut no corners whatsoever. I do not like cutting corners. Got your 5 watt resistor on the uh, variable here. Like I say in all my other videos, I don't know how many times I've seen boxes where, you know, some people, they, 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 might, they might be using it to where the amp is too much for them. And they need to turn that variable down, you know. And the more you have that variable turned down, the more that 100 ohm is working, the more current that thing is limiting and the hotter it's going to get. And I have seen so many 2 watts charred, blown, burnt. Most of the time the variable will still work when that thing is blown. But sometimes you'll build a, you have a, you'll, sometimes they'll throw some, you, you know, it's also block, uh, blocking any DC remnants of signal in this mixed in with the AC as well. That's another, so it's doing two things, you know. So I always just like to use a 5 watt, man. There ain't nothing wrong with throwing in, a, you know, 60 more cents and using a 5 watt. Okay. Now let's see if I can zoom in and show you the ground effects on this thing. Alright, here's one right here. See that? It's a 3 millimeter blue LED. Here's one right here. Same on the other side, right there, right there. I think next I'll try one with three, kind of make a system where I try to keep it clean as possible. As less wires going over this board as possible. That's why you see all the other wires. There's a lot of wires in this thing because we got um, one, two, three, four wires just out right here. And all those wires are hidden up under the board. If I had them all on top, this would look very messy. Here's your 2.2 kilo ohm half watt resistor that's limiting all four of these resistors at once. So there she be. Just a little nice clean one pill driver, 12879. Get this thing to unzoom. Hope you enjoy, my friend. Got a nice, strong 12 gauge wire. Choke on the output transformer. I don't believe in using no tiny 16 gauge, man. Uh, to me, it, it makes no sense of me running some good, strong 12 gauge in the back of this and just rolling some 16 gauge to the output of this. That makes no sense to me. So, we got some good, hefty 12 gauge wire, 12 gauge Teflon on that choke right there. Good strong 104 kilt one kilovolts. 
Got our 3,000. No need to run and wasting money and using pre 1Ks. When you can use 1 3K because that right there does not. Does not hold a you know a lot of a lot of uh, voltage. It does not have to uh, draw back a lot of voltage, making up for that other transistor there. So, literally three one Ks is a waste of money and it's overkill when you don't need it. This right here works just as well as you can see. All right, y'all have a good one, Mr. Gatekeeper here. We're gonna go ahead and start working on uh, one of my personal buddies' little. Uh, Dave made three banger. We're good and gone. I would like to say if anybody out there wants this exact damp, this exact damp, good driver for a four pill, six pill, won't drive an eight to the max, but we'll tickle it pretty well, or just want one to run. 145 bucks shipped to your door. And I never gave a price before on a video. But I'll go ahead and let you know I've been done enough of these now to where I pretty much know uh, the price of it. 145 bucks shipped to your door. If you don't care about having a switch for the sideband, as you might, if you know me, you know now that I'm a, I, I, by default, I put automatic sideband in all the boxes. Because all it does is just give a slight delay when you're on AM. A slight delay, like. This is a normal key with no sideband delay. Click clock like that. Click clock. And when you have the automatic sideband delay on AM, it's like click clock. Click clock. What's the big deal, right? Some people want to switch. Some people don't. If you want just one switch, automatic sideband delay, a bill 40. Ship to your door. You can't beat that. That beats everybody's prices on the net. Good quality, no shortcuts, just a good genuine one banger. The gatekeeper said it, and guess what? Poof, and I'm gone.